it's, it's been a little over a year since I started my YouTube channel and I uploaded uh, on that first day one of the videos was about it was a YouTube channel that I was just ranting about or talking about um, that day as I'm driving along on a long commute and y'all I love that video I, you know it's a it's terrible audio because um, I didn't know I mean, <laughs> it was just a crazy idea to even turn my iPad on and and um, just start talking to y'all <laughs> on my iPad didn't have a mic I mean other than the mic on the iPad and I think it must have been you know quite a ways from me and anyway the audio is terrible on that video but it's a great video the content is wonderful <laughs> I wish I had some way to go in and clean up that audio you know have what I'm saying be louder than the car noise <laughs> because to hear it you do like on my phone I really can't listen to it but on the tell like if I was on my television or my iPad it's like I can turn the volume up louder and I can hear what I'm saying and not just the car noise but you know I, I wish I could repl replicate is that am I pronouncing that correctly <laughs> that video because what I love about that video it's just such a pure raw video there are no edits I did not edit that video at all it's just I turned on my iPad and I just started saying hey y'all I want to tell y'all about this YouTube channel that I've been watching and I talked for over 13 minutes straight with no edits it's just me pouring my heart out about this YouTube channel and what I think is so sweet about it it, it because it's because it is so pure it I was so naive about YouTube and about cyberbullying or YouTube bullying I, I didn't know anything about that and I truly I truly wasn't trying to, to to bully but I just wanted to share my thoughts about the channel I guess I wanted someone maybe that also watched the channel to to, to chime in you know and to, to talk to me I think I say in that video that nobody in my family or my friend group watched that channel and uh, they would just laugh at me if I would even bring it up but I wanted someone to talk to about how frustrated I was with that youtuber but while I bring that up and honestly if you have not watched that video please go watch it and remember now the audio is terrible you're gonna have to really turn it up loud to hear what I'm saying but but that is a, a pure uh, me just being honest about how I had watched that YouTube channel I want to say I watched every video maybe for a year and a half and I'm just pouring out my heart and my frustration about that channel but but what I love about that is it was so pure it, I, I didn't have any ill will in my heart for the youtuber um, I was just talking about his content not about him as a person I mean I, I don't think I mean I just I didn't have any ill will against him but I just uh, was so frustrated I guess with myself that I had followed the channel so long and these projects he would promise he was gonna do never got done and I got I got to feeling very frustrated with with the uh, with the channel but why I'm bringing this up today is I noticed the other day that it is um, I saw what is it called pure living for life if y'all are, are not aware of their channel they don't do many YouTube videos much anymore they have probably half a million subscribers but they put out a video and what oh, and their content is they went off grid and built their own cabin and I have seen one of the I haven't seen a lot of their videos but one of the videos I saw about them was the the guy I guess the husband of the couple he went and used uh, went to a scrap pile like the the, the burning pile like just the firewood pile and got some lumber and he produced a beautiful butcher block countertop out of firewood scraps just the wood scrap pile so I love I love stuff like that if, if you've watched my channel you know I love to repurpose things I love to not spend a lot of money but come out with something that you can use and you haven't spent a lot of money or you use things you have so I just love that whole concept and he did a beautiful job I mean he he's uh, he's very talented and the video itself is, is very well done so it's a great channel it's um, like I say they don't make videos much anymore but they did a video the other day that popped up in my feed where they talked about being bullied on YouTube that as a creator this this group of people kind of kind of formed a group against them and were harassing them and I, I guess even terrorizing them I, I didn't I did watch the video but if you want to see the video it's it's the pure living for lives 
um, channel, and I think it's probably their latest video, but they talk about why they got off YouTube and why they don't produce as many YouTube videos because they were harassed um, by this group um, on YouTube that just didn't like them and kind of came after them. Now, I don't know a lot about that uh, because I didn't follow the channel very well. But y'all, ever since seeing that video, all these other videos are popping up from other YouTubers because they're wanting to also make a video addressing this same topic of uh, being bullied, being a creator on YouTube, and this cyberbullying. This, these YouTube uh, fans, so to speak, are become, <laughs> they're fanatics, but they don't like them, and they, they group together and uh, try to attack a, a creator. And on the video, uh, Pure Living for Life, they asked other creators to say, hey, January is going to be cyberbullying month and let's all make a video and talk about this and, and we need to take action against this. And that's awesome um, that they're trying to do a good deed by making these videos. But y'all, the other day, <laughs> and I'm, I'm smashing my fist, can you hear me as I'm, I'm driving along too, but I, the other day, a creator that will re remain nameless because I'm, I'm going to quote uh, leave her wild if I even hear his voice I'm triggered <laughs> if I don't watch his videos anymore but the other day one of his videos popped up and he's doing a video in response to pure living for life's recommendation that youtubers do a video about cyber bullying well y'all come on <laughs> Is that the pot calling the kettle black? <laughs> I mean, this guy, oh, if, if anybody has an army that comes after uh, anybody that says anything negative about him or his channel, wow. <laughs> you know, I actually had someone comment on one of my videos the other day because they apparently saw that video that he had put out and they said, you've got to do a video about this and, and you don't have to name him by name, but, but you need to make a video and talk about your experience, how you were bullied. And y'all, because I'm such a small little channel, and uh, I, you know, I don't feel like I have the power to to uh, make a video to change the world. But uh, I, I have to admit, after that video I did, where I'm just driving along talking about this channel that I had gotten frustrated with, I got so many negative comments. And and y'all, because it was my only the first day I was on YouTube, it was my first day. I mean, it was the day I uploaded videos. Well, I take that back. Probably a week later, a few days later. I did another video about a conflict that was going on with that that YouTuber and a, and a YouTube channel called Sawyer Ridge Farm. And you know, I, I tell you, they might want to do a video about cyberbullying or something because they've gotten off YouTube. And so I don't know exactly why they did get off YouTube, but obviously something uh, they didn't like something about it, and so they stopped they stopped putting out videos. But boy, they were, they seem like just to be a precious precious couple. But you know, we we aren't supposed to judge people, and we don't know what people are really like. We don't know if their their YouTube uh, personality is really them or it's just a persona that they're putting on to maybe get views or whatever. But anyway, I, I just thought it was so funny that that the you the YouTuber that put out the video trying to be against cyberbullying, boy. Um, if anybody knows about getting a gang of people together to harass someone. <laughs> but when I did the video about him and what had happened between him and this, the creator's um, Sawyer Ridge Farm, man, it was like 400 comments and about, I don't know if it was half or a third, I haven't gone back and <laughs> I try not to read them. And back then, I was so new to YouTube and so innocent <laughs> to YouTube, I didn't even know that there was a way to block comments. I didn't know that people were uh, like reporting comments, and there were being there were comments that were being held for review. And apparently, because I I, don't, I still don't know a lot about it, but apparently, if you these these comments are held for review, and you have to go in and like say, okay, that that one's okay, or that one's or delete that comment. I didn't even know about that. So a lot of a lot of folks comments I think got reported by <laughs> and so they never saw the light of day because I didn't know how to go in there and say oh no that comments fair that's fine and frankly because I do believe on YouTube that's what's so wonderful about this platform that we can we can talk about youtubers we like or we don't like or we can talk about a product we like or we don't like like and it's a it's a, a discourse is or is it discord is that the right word where you talk to someone um, I don't know is that word discord or discourse I don't know but anyway um, 
sorry for my ignorance, but but I want it to be a conversation. I, I love YouTube for that reason because we can have a conversation by you comment, I comment, you comment. And I have to admit, sometimes it does get kind of nasty, but a lot of times when you text or you comment, it, it's hard to tell the tone of it. As you know, when you're talking to someone face to face and in person, um, you can kind of tell because they're smiling or they're, you know, they're 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 you know they're kidding. You can tell by the way they say it. But when you write a comment, sometimes it's it's hard to tell. Well, are they joking or are they being mean or are they just you know how did they mean that? So I do think there's we have to remember that when somebody's writing something, maybe we might be taking it the wrong way. I love YouTube. I have enjoyed having um, videos out there and reading comments. And I enjoy YouTube so much, but I did because I got a comment the other day from a follower saying, you need to make a video about this January being YouTuber cyberbullying month and to bring awareness to cyberbullying. Well, I can say that my very first couple of videos, I did feel bullied. I do want you to comment on this video. Let me know what you think about pure living for life's situation that they went through with bullying. And also, let's remember, me included now, I need to remember to be kind to everyone. Not just be kind to the people that are nice to us, but we need to also be kind to people that aren't nice to us. Well, thanks so much for watching today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.